Hi, I'm Pat, N3GWZ, and today I'm here to show you my drone setup for deploying ham radio antennas. Um, I use my drone to put up wire antennas for myself and for friends, and I use a DJI Phantom 3 drone. I use a Arborist's weight and rope, and I use a remote release mechanism. I'm going to tell you about how I use all these things, but first, <clears throat> if you don't already own a drone, make sure that you are able to fly in your area. I suggest downloading the FAA Before You Fly app. As the application opens up and you press continue, it gives you a warning to let you know that you have to obey certain FAA regulations, including those temporary flight restrictions. It'll let you know if you're near an airport or in a restricted area. In my case, I'm actually close to an airport, but I called the airport manager in order to get permission to fly as close as I am. It'll give you a map display, and it'll also show you what areas you are close to that are restricted. In my case, I am near an airport, and it lets me know that. But it also lets me know that I'm with very close to the 30-mile ring that goes around Washington, D.C. I can't fly in this area. We want to not fly over people and we want to make sure that the area is clear because we're going to be dropping a, a weight and we don't want to hurt anybody including ourselves. Um, don't lose sight of your drone and always fly around and scope the area out first to make sure that there's no obstacles that you need to be surprised by when you finally do take off. Um, when you do fly with a weight uh, it, you won't have as much battery power as you're used to. Usually you get about 20 minutes of flight time, but when you have a weight on there, it's going to reduce your battery power because you're now supporting not only the drone, but the weight. I use the uh, DJI Phantom 3. The Phantom 4, uh, I've also seen online some YouTube videos show that it can support up to two pounds of payload. Um, so people fly with fruit, water bottles, they drop these things from the sky. Um, so the Phantom 3 I decided to go with, I found it on eBay for about 300 bucks. Um, I bought a second battery for it, which I'm glad I did. And then I also picked up the uh, Top Race Drone Clip Remote Control Object Launcher, um, which is from Amazon. And that device straps onto the bottom of the Phantom, it's here, and has a solenoid, and an on-off switch, and a remote, but it does include a strap that goes around here, it's Velcro, so you can Velcro it on the top so it holds it in place. You can easily remove this. It's not really on there very very secure, but it does its job. And I get an indication, light lit, and the solenoid is now closed. And I have a remote control here in my hand. I turn that on, I've got a flashing light. When I press the button, it opens. As you can see, you get an opening right there. You press the button again, and it closes. So this is how I hold my weight in place. The weight that I have, I found this online as well. Um, this bag did not come with this. This is a separate bag that I picked up. Um, <clears throat> but this is the Weaver Leather Throw Weight and Line Kit. This is the 12-ouncer, and this is a very slick polypropylene rope. It's about 150 feet long. And all I do is I take um, and tie it to the ring on the weight, and then I hold the ring in the uh, gap for the solenoid and then I close it. You can see there, around the ring and you can fly and when you want to drop this you simply press the remote and the weight drops. Now, 12 ounces is not very heavy, but when you're dropping it from an altitude of about 100 feet, it does um, make quite an impact with the ground. In fact, I've dropped it as a test drop on um, very soft ground and was able to leave about a 3-inch hole in the ground. So as this thing's coming down, it's coming down hard. I then am able to pull this 150 foot of line through the tree, and then I have a, a hollow braid polypropylene rope uh, it's 3 8 inches in diameter in black. Uh, Sergeant Knots on Amazon, and I'll link to that. Um, for about less than 50 bucks, you can get a thousand feet of it, so you can deploy for yourself and for your friends. So we'll give you a quick demo. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the weight. And at this point, we'll go ahead and do the standard startup for um, the Phantom 3. All right, we're going to do a quick demo flight. And we're just going to take off, try to hover. The wind and GPS is going to move it around quite a bit here on the deck. It's never perfectly hovering unless it's higher up in the sky. I'm going to do a remote release and just drop the weight right here for right now. When you are flying at higher altitudes, you're able to use the camera to decide exactly where you're going to drop that weight. Make sure there's nobody underneath the weight. If you're flying over foliage, well, it might be a little bit more difficult for that weight to fall through the foliage. It's always easier if you fly over a tree or you drop it through a tree that has no leaves. Otherwise, you may have to flick the line quite a bit to get the weight to fall through. Here's a couple deployment flights that I had done recently. In this example, I'm flying directly over a pine tree, and I'm dropping the weight on the other side. In this example, I'm flying over a maple tree, and I'm dropping the weight through the tree. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.